Hello everyone, welcome to Dundas Dashboard How To Videos. This video will show you how you can create a data connector to SQL Server Analysis Services and query data off an OLAP cube. To create a new connection to the Analysis Services, in your project go to the Design Explorer and go to the Data Connectors folder. Open the menu and click on New Data Connector. Here give it a suitable name. Once you do this, the new data connector will appear as an item in the Design Explorer and the data connector designer is displayed in the content area of the application. The next step is to configure the general settings. You can give it a brief description of maximum 2000 characters in length. You can provide any additional info URL, which is a website that provides any ad additional info about your data source. The connect as option is used if you want to connect to your data source using Windows user credentials other than those under which the IIS is running. For example, you want to use your own Windows credentials, you're going to use connect as option. This helps you to avoid having to grant additional data source permissions to the IIS user. This option is typically used when you are connecting to your analysis services cube. This can also be used if you're connecting to Excel files or SharePoint data sources. To use the connect as option, click on connect as and choose one of the login methods. Choose login on Dundas dashboard server if the Windows user credentials that you supply will be used to login locally on the Dundas dashboard server. This is the default setting here. Use relay credentials if the Windows user credentials that you supply will be used for network connections without impersonation. The Windows user that you specify here will not be required to login locally on the Dundas dashboard server. Once you choose the option, enter the username, domain, and password. For this example, I'm not going to use the connect as option, and I'm going to connect to my cube using the user that runs the IIS service. Here you select the provider, in this case you select the analysis services. The command timeout is a value that specifies the maximum number of seconds to wait until the first row of data is returned from the database. This is useful if you have dashboards that result in a long running database queries or you may need to increase this value if you want to avoid timeout errors during the dashboard viewing. In this area, provide a server name. You can do that by clicking in the autocomplete box that initiates the discovery of all the servers within your network. A drop down menu will appear if one or more servers are found. You can choose the server name from the drop down list or you can type it in manually in the box. In this example, my dashboard server and the analysis server are located on the same machine, so I'm just going to go ahead and use localhost. Next, select the database name. To do that, click on the drop down menu and select the database. You can also type it in manually if you know the name of the database. Next, if you want to use impersonation, then select the impersonation method. The default option is none, which means no impersonation is used. But if you want to connect using dashboard groups, which means that you've got a group defined in Dundas dashboard and you've got a same group defined in your SSAS and you want to connect using that group, then choose this option. There's also a third option that will be available called connect using current Windows account. This is only available if you have Windows authentication turned on in the configuration file. Use this option to pass in the username of the current Windows user to your SSAS via the effective username property of the SSAS connection string. In this example, I don't have the Windows authentication turned on, so I'm not seeing the third option. I'm not going to use impersonation for now. If you have any specific connection settings that you want to configure, then use the advanced properties grid and configure the properties here. For example, if you want to configure user-based filtering, then you would do that using the custom data setting. More information and a description of all these properties can be found on our support site. For now, I'm not going to use any advanced properties, so I have all the default settings. If you want to set any caching, then use the caching tab and set the memory caching. This would ensure that the data results will be cached in the memory on the server or on the client after the first time data is retrieved. So once you're all set, click on Test Connection. 
This is to make sure that the data connector has been configured properly. So once this is successful, click on Save. This would initiate the discovery of data structures, which means that any cubes in your analysis services will be discovered. So let's do that. So now a connection to the analysis services has been made. To verify the cubes that have been discovered, go to your data connector and expand it. Expand the cubes and here you can see all the cubes that have been discovered. To view the results of a particular cube, go to the menu and click on view. This opens up the cube and you can verify the data by dropping the measures and the dimensions in the respective panes. So as you can see, we have successfully made a connection to the analysis services cube. If you need more information on the steps that we discussed in this video, then feel free to visit the following pages on our support site which include the steps needed to create a data connector, connect to your SSAS database, how to test a data connection, how to discover data structures, as well as information on caching data. For more information, feel free to visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact Dundas support using the contact information shown on your screen. Thank you for watching.